Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Dvorak, and this is going to be a recap of another great win against the division leading by points percentage over the Thunderbirds, Hartford Wolfpack, as the Lehigh Valley Phantoms beat them in back-to-back -back games. Now 3-1 to one after taking them down by one goal in a shootout on Sunday. Like I said in the preview, the Phantoms have had a weird schedule, but it hasn't affected them in the last three. That veteran netminder, Pat Nagel, has stepped up immensely to go 3-0-1 oh, now in the season, 3-0 and oh, in the three-game winning streak. Uh, Ursan is also back, so the Swedish duo, once uh, Sandstrom comes back off of his non-COVID-related illness, is going to be there as well. And I thought Samuel Ursan in his first season over here looked mighty fine in a couple games early on in the season. Then he just got banged up. I think he only played like four, maybe three games. So he got banged up after a couple tilts. So you can't judge much off of that. But this game was one of those momentum driven by your goaltender, in my opinion. I mean, the the Phantoms <clears throat> in the first period, it was a very good back and forth hockey game. And then um it became and then it became in the second period a game that it looked like they were really starting to push the pace better. Uh the Harford Wolfpack, that is. And they had the better chances, even though it was even, <coughs> excuse me, 12-12 to 12 in shots in the second. Nagel really stepped up, made some key saves in the second. Of course, the first goal of the game was uh, Greco, who has one of the best shots in the game. Uh, he was able to pot the goal uh, to score there. And um, you can't do much about that. The speedster has an absolute snipe, and uh, he was able to get it done right there. But the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, of course, answered as Cal O'Reilly got it off the boards and was able to send it towards the net as Hayden Hodgson, again, after making a nice play in the neutral zone to lead to Ratcliffe's goal in the last tilt, made a really nice play, crashing towards the net, getting his stick on it and getting it in the net past one of the better youngsters in net, Adam Huska, right there. So that was very good to see. But on top of going back real quick, the first period is where Nagel really started his momentum driven to be the first star of the night, in my opinion, to be the guy that drew the momentum. And then in the second, he made some key saves. Hodgson's got a goal. He made some key saves again. 1756 Bunny, after being an absolute dog, absolute warrior tonight, had a block shot, comes back, scores a goal, has a block shot with about three minutes left, is banged up again, tries to stay out there. Absolute warrior. Those are the guys that obviously Ian LaPerriere, being a guy that did that himself in his career, adores and Loves, and then I love how he gave Shusko, similarly to how Mike Yo for the big club, gave <clears throat> Wilman a, a, a bump to the third line. Uh, he gave Shusko a bump up, all the way up, and get, allowed him to play with, obviously, some of the most talented guys on the team. And I think that was wise, that was smart, because Sunday he wasn't as squeaky, but uh, Saturday I thought Shusko played great, and of late he's been a speedster that's looking good. He has a very good underrated shot like uh, Jamie Baskell's talked about of Nitty Gritty. So I think it was smart to move him up. He he, he responded getting that lucky, I would say, uh, empty net goal from the backhander from the Phantoms blue line. But um, it, you take what you can get, and he was able to get it. And then, of course, Bunny had the very nice wrist shot, and Hodgson had a very nice crashing to the net goal. I thought the third period, this was the best closeout game of the season for the Phantoms. They came... Out in that third period, um, they didn't look good on the power play in this game, which has been better of late for the Phantoms. They were 0 for 3. That's the only down part of this game. But I thought in the third period, uh, they came out and absolutely demolished them 15 to 4 in shot. Nagel was the bonus player in this game, the big kahuna that really got the momentum going as he made big saves in the end of the third, or end of the first, excuse me. Greco scores at the beginning of the second, made some more big saves. Hodgson scores, made many big saves for the rest of the period. Then Bunny scored at the end. That really dampened um, the spirits, it seemed, of the Hartford Wolfpack. As in the third, they got flattened by us. And that was great to see the Lehigh Valley Phantoms come out in conclusion here to be able to just have a great close after having a solid starting period, not the best middle period, we got the two goals, but the but if you looked at chances, the Hartford Wolfpack had the better high octane chances. So I think Nagel's the first star for really being the momentum driver, having them really bank off of great saves, carrying them up the ice, really pushing the energy of the team to be able to get the goals. <clears throat> and then of course we have um, Connor Bunneman as the second star at the game winning goal. 
and then Hayden Hodgson, who continues to provide the energy to Spunk, made a great play last game, and now makes a very good play crashing the net to be able to pot a goal as Cal O'Reilly sends it towards the net. But I hope everybody has a great, safe, and pleasant evening. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your night. We'll see who's in net tomorrow if Sandstrom's eligible to come back, if Urson, um is going to go tomorrow, or if Pat Nagel's going to get a back-to-back. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and what a great win by the Phantoms. Peace out, everybody.